All right, hello and welcome everyone uh, to our first game of the semifinals here at the BCPS Esports Rocket League winter season. Uh, my name is Eric Leitner, also known as River, and I am always your host. However, uh, Justin had to step aside for one evening, and I am fortunate, you are fortunate that we brought in a uh, very special guest. Uh, so with me today is Clever Like. Clever Like, how you doing? Yo, Justin, step aside, buddy. We're ready to <laughs> oh. have some Rocket League. Sorry. No oh, worries. Uh, so we want to make sure our teams are ready for match one. If they're in there, they're ready to ready up. Uh, we know that there uh, was an update yesterday. The knockout mode was launched. The knockout mode is super cool. Uh, but it also has thrown a bug into our mix. So we're going to make sure everything's up and running uh, because it's not showing us which players are in the match. Well, the match is three minutes in, uh, or uh, you know, a minute and a half in, and and. All right, so I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna run an intro, and I have a feeling I know what's going on. And I think we've got more than one instance of the match happening. <laughs> and I was sitting by myself. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, so let's try that again. Uh, let's do. Let me join that private match. I have a feeling I know what's going on. Multiple instances of world thing. And so I apologize to our viewers who might be missing a few seconds of action. And you know what? Now I see everything. We're here. We're ready to rock and roll. And our match is up and run, and we're live. Things are on screen. We're ready to make calls. And the good news is you've missed nothing because the score is 0 0 halfway through game one of this best of five. So, uh, Clever, you have been watching. Uh, what have we seen so far? So Fill me in. I've, I have seen, not been watching. I've seen nothing but sportsmanlike conduct. The teams realized we didn't have a legitimate start, so they have been just kind of sitting patiently waiting for everyone to be gathered together for an official start. Ah, no worries. So I'll tell you what, uh, this will be a little bit of playtime, a little bit of warm up. Two minutes left on that clock and we won't we'll, we won't make this one game one. Game one will be here in just a minute for us. No worries. So I'll tell you what, why don't we take this two minutes yeah, this is warm up. Uh, why don't we take this two minutes uh, and you tell us a little bit about who you are. You're our guest tonight. So tell us a little bit who you are, what you do, uh, why you like Rocket League. I mean, I know why oh, you man. like Rocket League, but you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. I get to I get to play with River. That's what that's what makes Rocket League fun. But yeah, so I'm clever like I am, uh, you know, as I got into computers when I was in sixth grade, I'm, a, you know, I'm a little bit older, but um, I just remember that feeling I had when I first started, when I saw that computer and when I started uh, learning how to code and playing video games and had so much fun with it and uh, had a great career in computer science and went to school for computer science, did internet companies and all kinds of cool stuff. And now I get to basically spend my days making video games in Minecraft and Fortnite Creative and Unreal Engine. And I get to play Rocket League with cool people like River. That's right. And you've actually been here to train uh, some of our teachers uh, on some of those things, including uh, Unreal Engine, uh, Fortnite Creative, and so on. A uh, lot of fun to play with. Uh, I mean, I consider myself a rookie at many of these tools. Maybe not Minecraft, but the other two, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're pretty well established in Minecraft for sure. Right. Uh, and I want, know, to I want to impress our viewership by telling them that we are solid diamonds when it comes to Rocket yeah. League. Deep, deep in the diamond. Deep into diamond, that's right. We were going to change our name to the Diamond Duo. No, we'll stick with Stembolism, it's fine. It's, uh, it's, it's working for us, it's working for us. Yeah, and I love yeah. seeing these teams warming up. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, uh, we had some technical issues. We're going to let them run the clock down on this one. This one's not going to count either way. Uh, this one's just going to be a warm up for us. We've got some viewers with us right now. So hi, viewers. Yeah. Uh, and what you are tuning into is our very first semi-final match of our winter season. Our teams played through a uh, regular season. In fact, these two teams did meet uh, in the regular season already. So this is a bit of a rematch. And uh, for one team seeking revenge or redemption and one uh, <laughs> looking to move on and, and make those finals for the first time. It's fun to get to be reacquainted out here on this uh, in this little practice round. They get really, uh, I wonder yeah, exactly if anyone's... Right anyone's holding out you know you know what and look even for a warm-up look at all the ggs in there all the ggs yeah, in there i love the to see up, that right? good sportsmanship gotta love it 
And look, even the scoreboard is a is a little wonky. Are you seeing blues on top and bottom? Yeah, yeah there. And it's kind of, kind of flickering out. in and out, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, right. As we get to our finals, there's one goal at the top of a whole scoreboard where everyone is apparently on the same team. So we're gonna work through this. I've got a notepad with me. I've got notes. Uh, I'm gonna write down these scores as we go. No surprises are gonna come our way. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna make oh, this work. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and ready up as a spectator here. Uh, and we will we'll make it happen. Um, of course, of course, right? <laughs> Everyone wins. You know, I'm seeing the players in there. Everyone wins um, because look at that. You're all one team with one mighty goal amongst you. <laughs> Everybody is a great winner. We did it. We did it. Combining forces. <laughs> Love this. This is called collaboration. That's right. Six on zero. Yeah. All right. Wow. Here we go. We got the clean the the field has been clean they mowed the lawn looks like there's not a not a scrap laying in the grass it's clean and ready to go that's right i'm curious to see what kind of screenshots i'm going to be getting uh from the other matches that are going on right now when they submit their scores and they realize the scoreboard is just bananas right now you know <laughs> all right and here we go for all official right. official game one of our best of five and immediately two very different strategies on kickoff, right? We had one with a chase up, love, you know, that's our strategy is the chase up, the stall, the easy oh, goal. Yeah. And you know, it just happens yeah. every time, right? We, we, we've got that down. Nice little flick out here. Okay, good, good D. Let's see if we can handle that. Being sad with a nice turn. Yeah. Oh, and... wins at 50, look at that. Oh, that one's gonna go. Oh. Nice uh, job. Tough angle, tough, tough angle coming off the wall. Uh, I don't know if it was intended to be a shot. It was phenomenal 50 off the wall. A tough yeah. save to make at that bottom left corner, and it snuck its way in. Those are the ones you want, though, right? The ones that just you, you get uh, a little bit lucky. I mean, look, the reality is this. None of this game, I say, you know, we use the word lucky a lot. I see players ty uh, type lucky or unlucky or, oh, it's all luck in the chat, <laughs> you right? See that? Right, right, every time, every time, every time. Oh, it's all luck. Like that. Oh, nice pass. Yeah, no luck on that one. Uh, right but, but the reality is there is, I don't see it as any luck because if you're playing right, if you're playing well, things are just, chances are going to happen. Things are going to go your way. 50s are going to go your way. Uh, mm -hmm. And shots like that one are going to go your way. Yeah, A stream was close. Almost almost on it, but just got edged out. The, the, the center went a little too far. And got drilled in. Okay, we're doing a little air dribble to the corner and deflected by Hey Jay. Oh, here we go. Can you get the big boost and no, not going to be able to... Okay, we're controlling it. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Good defensive comeback there. Easy yeah. to play that, right? Stay calm, didn't panic, because uh, I know I would have been panicking. That's my moment to panic <laughs> right there. No <sighs> panic from these players. Only one thing I can do. Oh, nice touch. Oh, clear it. You got to get those clears. Oh, nice. Good touch. Nice. Good follow-up oh, and the pass. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to read that additional touch. Nice job, alligator wings. Watch this. Go up, off ceiling, one more touch. Just puts it out of reach for the two defenders that were... They were coming in hot, as I like to say. They yeah, were, definitely they were coming running. in hot on this one. And you know what? <laughs> uh, we're seeing the plays amongst the players happening right now. And uh, the reality is um, a good chunk of these players on both sides. We keep a leaderboard uh, not just amongst the stats for the teams, uh, but also our goal leaders, our save leaders, our assist leaders, uh, and the names you're seeing on the field right now between these two teams uh, make up a good chunk of those leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're seeing why. I'm seeing some good teamwork here, too. Like I saw the, uh, you know, you'll see when you're playing, you know, someone will have a, they'll basically pass it to themselves, follow it up. You know, really good control, good teamwork, passing it, going back for boost, let the teammate handle it. Yeah, we're seeing a, a lot of that, right? Like the rotations are quick, meaning they're making that touch. They're not trying to make a second play on the ball. Uh, they're rotating out, letting the teammate get the next touch. A uh, way to deflect that blue. I don't know how that didn't go in, but good work. Plays it off to the side. Let the teammate handle it. What do we have going on here? Bringing it, orange, bringing it back downfield again. Putting the pressure on. Being sad is... Uh, Hanging out, playing D, covering. That's right. Nothing, nothing sad about the gameplay. Nothing sad. Yeah, yeah. Nothing <laughs> sad. I don't know why. What do we? What do we have? 
yeah, right now it's it's all Cypress Bay, um, which is a which is a big change from when these two teams met in the regular season. Uh, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I can go back and look at the stats, but I believe that was a uh, a, a match where uh, Coral Springs oh! took it in three. A uh, little bit of a mistouch there. Uh, tough yeah. one to play. A little bit awkward coming down from above when your wheel's flat on the ground. Um, you know, you've got two back. Uh, oh, it's just unfortunate. Just absolutely unfortunate touch there. It happens to the best of us. Uh, yeah. But that gives yeah. Cypress Bay a commanding fork. will lead. Two minutes, nine seconds left is plenty of time, though. Plenty of That's time. That's what I always say. No, never forfeit, you know? It's a, plenty of time. That's right. Never be first, at least, right? Like, even if you're playing, even if you're solo queuing and you're trying to rank up or you're trying to improve a particular skill, uh, don't be the first on your team to mash that forfeit button. Let, let somebody else kind of, you know. <laughs> nice flick and the demo. Whoop! And, and right playing. now, yeah, it is all Watch alligator this wings. Flick it right is here, alligator, all and then clear the way. Boom! Even read the jump there. You see, they kind of collided in the air. Real heads up play by Alligator Wings. That was that was awesome to watch. And I'll tell you what, yeah, with learned. a minute and forty left, you're starting to wonder whether or not it's out of reach, but you don't wanna stop. Obviously we're not taking forfeits in, in league play, uh, but you don't wanna stop going either because just one goal can help you carry momentum. This is a best of five. One goal can help you carry momentum into uh, all the rest of the games that make up this match. Oh, nice. Nice pinch to center. A little too fast. No one's on it. I just seeing the, uh, you know, blue had a pretty good, uh, it was kind of a direct line, not a fancy air dribble, what was coming in and it was kind of easily deflected back in goal. Turn back around. There it is again. We got to put, we got to try to get some passing plays going on here. See what we can do to set up the crowd. Where's the... Uh, where's the oh there nice. there we go see they were on the board 53 seconds left that was just that was just a laser uh just drill see, it straight in right see the opening uh players with their backs turned after the initial save tough yeah. one to get back for that backflip sometimes will get you there but not quite this time <laughs> they did come out of the left side to come around and get that so maybe uh anticipating a little more being in the center, coming around rather than crowding the crowding the side, and see if uh, we can get spaced out. Right, and I would say what what um, the Lightning Colts want, what they want to do right now is not, is not that they want to do <laughs> the opposite of that. But ultimately, right, it, it's it's maintain at this point, right? You got that one goal in, you've given up a goal. Uh, if we started the match at that moment, right, you're in a one-one tie right now. Play from that mindset, carry that mindset into the next match, uh, and don't let yeah. this one get any further away, right? Start to, to gain that poise, that control. Don't panic, don't get tilted on this one, and just uh, prepare for the next one. Oh, there you go. See, there's the momentum. Good job. So I think River makes a good point. This is not, uh, even if you end up losing this match, you turn that energy around. That's your that's your uh, runway for the next uh, for the next round. Come in strong. Yeah, that's exactly it. Right from the moment they made that goal, technically, we look at that and we say, OK, well, they're maybe uh, likely not to win this one. Uh, they've turned things around. They've made it basically a 2-1 goal differential in the last few minutes. You know, carry that, uh, maintain that, and let that be the poise here uh, that carries yep. you into the next one and say, see, we've got this. We just got to play the way we're playing now, adjust the way we've adjusted, and keep it going. And we're coming down. One final shot, just missed wide. Okay, wow. What... All right, good Where games across the board. Up? Game one goes to Cypress Bay and the Lightning. Uh, final on that one Look, was not two. It was six to two uh, for Cypress Bay, <laughs> right? So this is an interesting bug we're seeing. I love that we get to share this on a live stream because just look at this nonsense on the screen for a moment. I mean, phenomenal mm. job, everyone. Uh, and the, the beauty is I can at least count the goals. And I got to believe, so the knockout mode, I'm going to talk about this before we jump into the next match and I ready up. Because the knockout mode puts everyone on one squad and then ranks you by performance from top to bottom, right? All eight players in that mode are basically on their own, right? It's a it's a free-for-all game type if you haven't played it yet. Um, 
and it looks like Different. that that correction they've made to that menu oh, is spilling yeah, into all the other game types because that's what this menu that's what this screen all. yeah it looks like a free-for-all right here yeah so right. psionics if you're watching i know you're not i wish you were <laughs> but if you're watching <laughs> there there's your bug right there all right let's ready yeah. this up as spectators and we're gonna jump into the next one i like that uh, that problem solving the way you kind of uh, analyze the what that's you're right. seeing and There's, what the what could have caused it. I mean, the connection there is impeccable. I bet you you were. That's right. They're going to hire me as a, as a beta tester any day now. I mean, they can't afford you. They can't afford me. That's right. Let's be real. I'm making those teacher dollars. They can't afford me. <laughs> they can't afford that. Oh, nice, nice. All right, but we're already deep. seeing some of that momentum. Uh, I wouldn't say totally shift. I wouldn't say it's going either team's way, uh, but we're seeing calm, poised play uh, from both teams right off the start here. So no one playing tilted, no one trying to go for anything awkward, making smart plays, waiting for those moments. Even that initial save, uh, not save, but clear uh, off the sideboard. Hey, uh, and just like there that, there's our first lead of yes. this match uh, for Coral Springs. Ready? We got a good pass center. Someone comes in, chase it down, boom. Right in hockey, we'd call that one of those little tic-tac-toe plays. And uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and that's exactly what needed to be carried in. And again, we've seen, now I would argue that there's a momentum shift, because if we look at the end of game one and the beginning of game two, it has been predominantly the Colts. It has been predominantly Coral Springs. Okay. By the way, Coral Springs, my brother's high school alma mater. So if he's watching and listening to me right now, you know, I know who he's probably rooting for. But being sad, good heads up, good heads up. Let me stay on that. Yeah, this one just evens up a tough one to outlet right there and get away from the net. And being sad, sees the read, makes the smart play, just puts himself in the position to get that little tiny rebound and uh, pop it in. Okay, tough one to judge. Good way to get the way to get that uh, that car door in the way. You know, use them use them rearview mirrors for something. If, oh, what a what an angle! Nice job. Yeah, Coral Springs taking the lead back. Two one lead now. Uh, Ooh, almost tough reads in that. those corners. Uh, I am I, I'm the worst victim of those bad corner reads. Yeah, when I say victim. I'm, I'm a victim sure. of myself. <laughs> Yeah, those the, the 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 bottom part of the wall, the corners, the edge of the goal, all of those good things. Uh, we we're having to deal with those and also managing it pretty well. Well, blue just kind of pinched right back into their turf. Let's get that turn back around here. Let's see what we got. It's up in the middle. Yeah, definitely and not the player you want to hand it off to. Alligator Wings is someone you want to keep an eye on, positioning himself in the front of the net right now. And his team knows it because they definitely looked for that uh, that bounce pass right there off the wall uh, to get it to their uh, to their shooter. Asahi is the big uh, connector here. Putting in here's another opportunity to connect. A little short on that, maybe low on boost. You know that that's that happens to the best of us. Uh, you could have done it. You had a little more gas in the tank, but that's part of the game too. The strategy is picking up that boost. Yeah, and we've got some higher level players uh, in this particular match. Uh, and one of the things that's always great to watch is, you know, you'll hear, um, especially a lot of content creators, a lot of coaches, a lot of trainers, um, you know, they, they love to create content and content is created on YouTube and anywhere else by like, you know, saying you sort of got the answers to all of it, right? Like, here's what you can do to improve your play like right away. Or here's, you know, one thing you can do to, to, to rank up three levels. I see these videos all the time. Uh, and the reality is, while it could be game sense, while it could be positioning on the field, while it could be reading the ball, while it could be mechanics, which I see so many players working on nothing but mechanics over and over and over again, um, the rea or boost management, it's all of it, right? The only way you're going to get to higher levels is you've got to work on and find a balance amongst all of those things. The reality is, it's all of those things. And that's why watching players, especially even, you know, our uh, scholastic players uh, make plays like that, uh, is so impressive. Yeah, Astrium was coming around, had the ball maybe uh, maybe a little too long, you just mishandled it on the outside, bounced off corner, ended up being a perfect center for an easy angle to tie it up. 
keep that momentum going here. Good, pretty good even kickoff here. Let's see, Asahi gets the boost. But again, we're 2-2. We're a little over halfway through this one, and it seems like um, our teams have kind of worked out the jitters now, right? We're seeing a lot of very even gameplay right now. Definitely. It's off in the corner here. Nice Opportunity here. Oh, look okay. at that. Okay. Almost With dunked. Almost with the dunk for Yeah, for definitely that. saw oh. it. Wanted it. Very wanted close. It. Yeah. Almost lined it up. Just just missed it. Those, those are satisfying when you... You plan them out and they actually work. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Questioning. Yeah, the other play, um, I'm not sure if it was Asahi or who it was, but they had d cleared a demo along the way and then had a great bump. So they were kind of uh, really working the, working the other team, but just weren't able to monopolize that. No, and just like that, Cypress Bay regains uh, their yeah. first lead of game two. Um, and looking mm. for that 2-0 uh, lead in the series, but 120 on the clock, plenty of time uh, for Coral Springs to bring this one right back. Okay, coming across middle. Look at that, right down. See, that's textbook. Watch that. Being sad in the middle, midfield. Sees Hey Jay going up over. Nice final little tap. And it's I that mean, little push off the wall, right? If we leave it rolling yeah. along the wall uh, up to center, odds are you get a near, you know an easy clear back along the boards, yeah. um, you know, right along the goal line. But if you get that little push off, it puts just enough space that getting that touch on defense uh, becomes much more difficult. Wow, speed is key. You know, you see here, Hey J just just beats to the ball. You know, gets there faster, plays it off wall, nice, wins that. Uh, this is not even really a fifty. It just kind of uh, intercepted that that play off the ceiling. And yeah, went in for a hard challenge, nice. won the challenge, and yep. sure enough, ended up right on goal. Meanwhile, we're sitting there talking about how we want to clear on net when we're clearing the ball, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're not making challenges from the ceiling uh, that end up on goal. <laughs> oh, nice. But pays the price. Uh, gets Gets demoed in the process, but you know, Sometimes the demo is uh, just some more boost. A little bit, out. but it can definitely wreak havoc on a rotation. If you've got like a nice, especially like a tight rotation going, getting offense going, all it takes is uh, one demo oh. to throw it all off. Um, and sometimes that can be tough to recover from. Nice play. Watch this, how Hey J puts it off wall, improves the angle for being sad, and then just top right. right into it. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Tucking it right in that top right corner, making it tough. That's good communication. I don't know how their their comms are, but they're really managing, you know, their position and they're taking turns, being in the right place at the right time. That's right. I don't have that option. You know, we see that in the RLCS. Everyone and some other like, we're gonna tune into the comms, hear what the you know the players uh, are talking about for just a minute. Uh, yeah. Wish we had that option. We'd love to hear what that our players are cool. saying, uh, so we can see how goals like this get lined up. Yeah, you hate to have to clear it in front of your own goal. That's what that's uh, that's the risk of being behind the ball and it being in, you know behind your net yep, those corner cool. rotations can lead to uh basically no other option and i think that's what we saw there yeah like the last time when they you know they had that same position they just couldn't clear it because they didn't have enough momentum nice touch good d and stops yep and that stops is a pressure. we're gonna see an interesting stu scoreboard again uh, but that is a uh, two-game lead now uh, for mm. Cypress Bay. They're looking for the sweep. The Colts are looking to hold on, bring this one back. They're going to look for the reverse sweep. Uh, definitely not impossible. Again, we're seeing great gameplay from them. Uh, I think if anything is making the difference in this match right now, it is seizing those little opportunities. And it seems like right now, uh, Cypress Bay is making the most of every little opportunity that's yeah. coming their way. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, not being as, nearly as good as these, as as these guys and and uh, the the people playing on the teams here, I feel like the positioning is is key. You know, there's just a lot more. A lot more of these goals are are being scored by people in the right in the right position. So let's yeah, see yeah, can, definitely that game sense you know, kind of element. Yeah.
tried to pinch that one to center. That would have been a great pass had it gotten through. Plays it off wall with zero boost. <laughs> oh, nice try, nice try. Nice try on the save. Almost got to that one. Got a touch Almost. on it, just not enough to keep it out of the net. That was a bit of a drill. 77 miles an hour on that one. Wow. Yeah, not much you can do when it comes in that that hot. 77 miles an hour. That is a lot of kilometers per hour. Oh, you did the math there. So it, 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 <laughs> it, it equates yes. to a lot. You're welcome. Right, so there you go. There's your connection right there. If you're looking to bring this into math, uh, aside from all the physics <laughs> connections you can make, uh, converting miles to kilometers, which is something that is assessed. Um, I, I will let you know the answer is not just a, a vague a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how vague that is. It feels really specific to me. That's right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Alligator wings. You see the rotation is working real nice. They've got someone coming in, cover goal. A lot of pressure, though. If Luke can keep the pressure on, they might get a little demo just like that. And it looks like that's their strategy right now. And Not going to keep that one out. Wow, well, look at that. Maybe we found something here. Maybe we're going to start. Little lob, little extra yeah, touch. A little more aggressive. Oh, and a bump. Wow. Definitely the bump. fake at the same time because that fake, fake led to the bump, bump opportunity. Yeah. Woo. That roll that to the right. Cool. He followed, got bumped. Ball that just coasted its way in nice. for the goal. Okay, here you go. This Okay, good way to play it. Get it out of that channel down the middle. And there we go. Coral Springs bringing it back. 2-1 lead in this one. And this is something that Coral Springs is showing that they're good at. They get these little passing plays. Um, they're playing a nice. simple game on offense. And when they do it right, it's working. And this is yeah. working. Um, Atrium I think came across from mid, you know, and Asahi again with that feed with that feed into the into the middle. Yeah, I think if they need to change anything from those last two games, it's not that it's those quick rotations on defense, making sure you've got a man back, someone prepared to make those saves. Uh, the shots for that Cypress Bay are taking are not easy. Uh, but that can make all the difference. It's just having someone on position because not only are they there to make the save, uh, but they're there to change or modify how the opponent's players take that shot, right? They're going to have to adjust on the fly, assuming a touch, assuming a save, assuming an obstacle. Uh, and that can make a difference. Just being present. Nice. We had a little bully in the corner. Somebody reminds me of River there. Yeah, a little bit, right? I love that bump game, not going to lie. I see those cars just shaking around normally. I see name tags flying. You know, River's on the scene. Yeah. Great play there, by the way, by Astrum. He uh, made that save and ah. really quickly adjusted to clear that ball because that would have been in yeah. a really dangerous spot had that not happened. They were all three, you know, on the same ball. So that perfect center just went kind of unaccounted for. And I'm seeing some demo chasing happening now, and I'm wondering <laughs> if part of the strategy and the change for... Uh, for Coral Springs ah. is to uh, get a little bit more physical. Uh, in this instance, they were up a little bit tight. Uh, yeah, all three men up in this one, uh, and Ball took an unfortunate bounce. This one leads to a goal. Yeah, well, that's one of the hazards of, uh, you know, going for those demos. You switch to car cam, you're, you, you lose a little context to what's going on around you, and it only takes a second for the ball to be kind of out of reach, so. It's a tough balance. That. And, and this one's been center. Yeah, yeah. And this one's going back and forth. Cypress Bay started off with the lead. Coral Springs took that lead. And now Cypress Bay is back with the lead. 20, uh, two minutes, 17 seconds left in this one. Plenty of time for it to flip flop again. Definitely. This is a great game. Really, really, uh, really exciting. Lots of turns. Lots of turns. Going for that. Oh, nice. Double tap off wall. Oh, that was a good play. Nice yeah, feed. Yeah, great pass, good, good, good setup. Oh, what hey, a nice save feed. off that side wall. that off the wall. And left it nowhere coming. for a follow-up either. That was always clear. Yeah. That's a tough save to that make was. on its own. Uh, getting that end the clear to the side confidently, comfortably, uh, not easy save to make. There's a demo. We got, you know, we got a little unbalance here now. See if Blue can convert. That's going to come across the center now. Let's see. Being sad is in position. 
Get some something touch. I'm, we go a little high. Yeah, something I'm seeing from Cypress's ba uh, Cypress base play uh, from the Lightning is when they're uh, deep in offense, we're seeing it right here. When they're deep on offense, they are grabbing those corner boosts uh, from yes. the offensive oh. zone. And so they're controlling most of the corner boosts right now. And uh, Cyber, uh, Coral Springs isn't finding themselves boost starved, but if the rotation tightens up and Cypress Bay can keep the ball rotating, uh, that is inevitable. <laughs> Almost with the double that would have been, off that yeah, post and out. HPM would have had that real... Uh, that would have been an exciting moment to tie it up with that shot right there. Again, minute left, not time to panic yet. I, I, you know, I wouldn't make that hard push and get everyone up front just yet uh, for the equalizer. Just keep playing the game you've been playing. Uh, there's time to make that decision, make that call, and start pushing. Okay, let's see if someone's ready for a pass. That looked like somebody got bumped there. What do we got? Off wall? Ceiling? Hmm. <laughs> I hate when that ball is just floating around and it's, uh, you know, you don't have enough momentum to really work it. Yeah, when you get those lobs, you don't have the momentum, you don't have the boost. They're a little bit harder to read sometimes, especially when the angle's coming down sharp on you. Uh, they yeah, can get the, the camera. best camera. Yeah, definitely a camera issue, right? Well, Remember, this game does not end till that ball touches the ground. You may see three seconds on the clock, but it's not over yet. Keeping right. it up in the air. The Still up in the oh, air. Oh, it's coming across. Making it's that center to touch. Us. What? And he's got oh. it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that one. I, wow. I mean, look, I'm not on camera. I'm sitting here holding my mouth right now. Yeah. Uh, jaws on the floor. You How? All the pressure. Millimeters. Wow. Millimeters from the floor touch, and it makes its way in. Uh, I mean, that unbelievably, really unbelievable poise, uh, unbelievable control of the ball right there. I mean, I don't know how that one gets in, but everything was done to make that happen, and it worked. That was incredible. And Great so they're still job. in this one, taking this one to overtime. We are not Man. done, folks. We were we were zero seconds away from done. We're not done. <laughs> okay, watch it. Good. Okay, we got a defender. Can they get to the ball? No, it's off ceiling, right in the middle. Okay, controlled by Asahi. A, a demo. That looked like kind of like an even contesting. Even Asahi, who seemed to be just chilling out there, just maybe been uh, been lifting those weights. Does that Looks help like Pearl Springs demo? is playing with a little bit more confidence now, too. Cypress Bay is still playing the game they've been playing. They haven't had to change uh, <laughs> their gameplay too much. What they're doing is working oh. for them. Uh, but Coral Springs is now playing with a little bit more confidence. They've clearly made adjustments uh, from the last two games. We, we're looking at a dead heat in this one. They're still playing poised even when things were not going their way. Uh, wow, are you kidding me? Whoa. And there it Face is. Them. We Look will see that. a game four. Wow. Coral so Springs, exciting. the Colts from the brink of, uh, of elimination. They were done. They, it was zero on the clock. That ball was an inch from the floor on the, in the left amazing. corner. Amazing. What a turnaround. Kept it up, popped it up, maintained control. Must have had a full tank because the amount of boost needed to do it was done. Impressive. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, Asahi, if you look at, you know, Asahi branched off, you know, and that that's the kind of communication, right? Saw that Astrium had the ball under control, branched off, picked up mid-boost. Astrium, you know, almost had the goal. Did you know Astrium got, like, bumped on that, too, and still was able to was able to manage it in the air? You know and what? then off the wall, Asahi comes in with probably with full boost. and I got to do it. And they're going to see me doing it on the screen right now. I am saving that replay. <laughs> <I've> gotta, <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that one again later. And I think that, that uh, you know, letting your teammates do the work and spreading out and covering more ground, being ready in position. That's, that's, that's the athletic part. You know, of, of this, the, that athletic mindset. Mm -hmm. Anticipate the ball, anticipate the shot. Think of where your teammates are, where the defenders are. A lot of strategy and a lot of skill involved. Oh, without a doubt. You know, one of the first things I learned playing this game, uh, and you know, it's maybe where you start to make that transition. If you're an early player and you're starting to make that transition, let's say from like gold to platinum, somewhere in that range, um, it's, uh, I can't just hold this stick in like full directional force of where mm. I want it. Uh, meanwhile, while we are talking, being sad as cranking went off that wall. Uh, yeah, makes the almost, initial touch. Almost got blocked here. Asahi tried the tip, just couldn't make it. 
fast Definitely enough pushed it to that right side. Yeah, a little bit more would have been clear. Tough one to make, though. Uh, but you can't just you can't just crank that controller in one direction or the other. You can't just you know mash that the the, the thumb you know the the analog stick. Uh, it's analog for a reason, and this game utilizes that uh, extremely. So uh, you're same, keep same, same house right? Oh, good. Same with the triggers and the gas, right? You don't want to, you know, floor the gas pedal down the whole time. Oh no! Oh, yeah. off that Gotta post and out. Awkward that. bounce there. Being sad okay. right there was trying to return the favor. It looked like the play we saw that uh, that brought it to overtime uh, the other way in our last game. Uh, couldn't quite keep that one in the air though. Oh, it's sitting there, but we had a player got demoed, I saw. Yeah, poke leader was able to make that the, clear. That was the third person that could have been on that shot. So that, that demo was more strategic than you think. There's a nice clear on net, but handled nicely by AJ. Okay, AJ's up now. Got to get the turn. It's back up. So we have another, yeah, being sad's coming in. You see the rotation out. Picking up some boost. Yeah, and I'm keeping my eyes on those corner boosts because that has been the story, I think, of uh, how they are maintaining uh, control and tight rotations on the side for Cypress Bay. They are really controlling those corner boosts, especially in the offensive side. Um, nice 50 there, but it's going to be a little too far wide. Yep, and there we see it again. Corner boost uh, controlled, maintained, picked up, outlet play. Oh, all three ball. defenders, yeah. And again, without uh, that one, boost, two, does that play happen, right? Does this pass right here happen without that corner boost? Ah, <laughs> oh, tough. And wall read, and just, uh, we had one coming up from the ground, one off the wall. Couldn't put it together. Nope. Three minutes left in this one. Super Plenty of time. Early, yeah. Super early in this game. Two goals can happen in a blink. We've seen it. Uh, and again, we've seen uh, the Colts maintain poise, maintain control, uh, and bring it back from for, further. Oh, with a flip reset. Oh. What a save. Gee, off AJ. That, it was going below AJ. the crossbar. It was tucked oh, just below that crossbar. Hey, and and hey, Jay got there. Yeah, Aistrom had that reset, and everything was looking like uh, definitely a river a re save the replay moment. Nice, Asahi gets the touch on the way down. That was a pretty strong shot on goal but was in the right place and that was no accident tries to skim it with the wheels misses but alligator wings comes in with the follow-up watch yeah, this and tries these to get the those... rotation with the wheels just barely yeah these are those plays where they're taking just those you know making the most of little advantages right little yep. you know loose ball here loose ball there uh and making them count you know, that, that miss there by Hey Jay, I think, actually worked out. You know, it ended up being one of those nice little, uh, you know, those... We, we call them fakes. We don't call them misses, right? That's right. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't call them misses. They're all fakes. You, you spam that faking button or our quick chat, right. you know. Yeah, totally to by that, design, like exactly chat. what you wanted to do in the first place. You know, the question is, at this skill level, oh. what are the odds that it probably was a fake uh, and not just one of our misses? Oh, good job, Asahi, with the, with the block. That was... Two defenders down, and that was going right on goal. But Asahi comes in, sitting Big save like in front. a sit still has to make that clear, nice. able to get enough on it to get it off to the side. Oh, but again, loose wow. ball off to the side, and this has been the story of Cypress Bay. This is where I would say at least 50% of their goals are coming from. They're picking yeah. up these loose balls on the side and just getting these clean, small, short out, uh, yeah. shots uh, from sharp angles. Just the waves, you know, the rotation is just amazing. They just keep coming in. Perfect vantage point, perfect opportunity to handle whatever whatever happens. And yeah, they just couldn't get the ball out of the way of the goal. A little backwards. Oh, nice. You know, we've been sitting here this whole time, um, and both of these teams have the word lightning in their name. Uh, and oh, lightning has struck again as I say it. Uh, and we've made no puns until that one just now. Seriously, no I was all charged up about it right? originally when we were talking about it earlier. I mean, this game has been electric. But, okay, I mean, gonna I'm going to bolt, I'm no. gonna have to bolt after this, though. Oh, so. We can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Let's not. For the sake of our viewers, uh, we've got 47 viewers watching right now. Let's not. Let's not just do all puns all day. Uh, and it looks mm. like right now Cypress Bay has taken complete control uh, AJ of Game just... 5. Yeah, 
Uh, hey J has been a story in this one. Um, yep. And they're feeling confident. They're not relenting right now. Uh, and they're going to start playing with that pressure because um, they've got a cushion right now. Okay. Blue's got back under control, but you got your defender there. What a redirect. Nice job, Alligator Wings. So you had your defender sitting back. Watch this. Hey, Jay puts it up, and Alligator Wings with this redirect. Nice. And we saw done. that from Alligator Wings' perspective uh, on the field when we watched it the first time. Um, not looking at where the ball, you know, the net was at all, looking at the ball and just knowing, again, that's that field presence, that's that game sense, knowing exactly where the net was for that shot. Yeah, and that was dead center. Yeah, absolutely right. Astrium, yeah. putting a little style on it here. Okay, it's up in front of goal. What can we do here? Take advantage, but being sad gets the leverage on that. Yeah, desperation Not in the greatest save. position, but yeah, no, yeah, no. But just really put their put their body into it and didn't get a deflected little pinch pass. But Hey J puts it back out to the side and another deflect puts it to blue side of the field. A little dangerous uh, center there across their own side, but hmm. Got to get those power, more powerful clears there. This, these waves of uh, these waves of attacks, you gotta you gotta get it out of the way of the goal there. And yeah, here exactly we go. right. Blue is on the board. Blue is on the board uh, with not, three seconds I'm left. Gonna, I'm not gonna point out the score. But you know what? You want those anyway. Regardless of the situation, you want those, right? It's an answer. And knowing that a team can answer yeah. tells you exactly, you know what? When we go into our next Absolutely. season, when we play in our next league play, uh, we know what's working for us now. We know what we need to work on. And I hope the players are saving some of these replays also because these are phenomenal tools to review Wow! Uh, and to learn from, you know, what we can correct, what, what worked, what didn't work. But with that, uh, the Cypress Bay Lightning do take this series. Uh, the score was not one goal for everybody. Uh, Psionics, get on that. <laughs> you, you, you managed to, to create a phenomenal bug there, Psionics, just in time uh, for our playoffs. We appreciate you. But genuinely, we do appreciate you because uh, we love making these opportunities available for yeah. our students. Uh, our students turn this into things they are passionate about, a reason to be in school, just like any other extracurricular program. Um, mm -hmm. And all that goes with it. Uh, you know, marketing the team, strategizing with the team, uh, coming up with plays, communication skills, and everything else that goes with it, which is why we love it. So congratulations to the Cypress Bay Lightning. They are moving on to the high school finals, which will be played next week. Uh, so if you're interested in tuning into that, we'll see you next Thursday. Uh, and a big congratulations again. This was the first season in this league for uh, the Coral Springs Lightning Colts. Uh, they've been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they, they finished second overall in league play for the regular season. So huge mm -hmm. shout out to the Lightning Colts. Uh, extraordinarily impressive play. Uh, we appreciate you being part of it, and we hope to see you again as a part of our Broward County Public Schools Rocket League season. So thank you, everyone. Brian, big thank you. Uh, appreciate you yeah. being with us. I don't know My if you have any pleasure. last words. I'll let you. I'll let you take us out of here. Thanks for the invite. No, absolutely awesome. I think you know what I love about this esports is these opportunities to collaborate, compete. You know, get these competitor mindsets, and then everyone I think had a really great sportsman uh, attitude, and that's what you got to bring to it. And just keep keep working. That was uh, a lot of fun. Thank, thanks. Yeah, I don't think I can say it any better than that. We're going to leave it at that. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.